is Jordan, and I know my voice sounds really funny. I am getting sick, and I also was cheering at a game, and I lost my voice. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a bunch of different cheer bows. So yeah, let's just get started with the tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to show you a bunch of different bows that you can make, but they all have the same basic shape. So after you've decorated your ribbon, you're just going to shape it into kind of one of those breast cancer awareness symbols, like the ribbon things, if you know what I'm talking about. And then just find the middle and kind of scrunch it up until you get it how you like it. Then you can take a small piece of string and just wrap it around and tie it in a double knot so that it stays. Then take a hair tie and just glue, start gluing it in the back. Take another smaller ribbon or whatever you're going to use to wrap it around and glue that on the back as well. And then wrap the smaller ribbon around and on top of the hair tie so that it stays and glue it down on the opposite side of the hair tie so that it all stays together. And that is the basic form of your bow. You can also cut the ribbons at the end of your bow into like a into like a backwards triangle. And if you don't want it to fray it, you can also add some clear nail polish to the end so that the ribbon won't fray at all. Um, and that is the basis of your bow. So you're basically going to do these steps for each of the bows that I'm showing you. But I'm just going to show you the different decorations and ways you can decorate your bows. So the type of ribbon that you have will help determine the type of bow that you want to make. The easiest and most simple ribbon that you can use is 3 inch cross grain, which is that type of ribbon with those little lines through it, and then you want it to be 3 inches so you don't have to glue any ribbon together, but sometimes it's kind of hard to find, and all I could find was, I think, a uh, 1.5 or 2 inch, what I, whatever I have here in the black, and that type of ribbon is good and sturdy on its own, but if you get any shinier or thinner ribbons, they tend to crease in the bow and they don't look as good, especially when you glue them together for multiple pieces. So if you use that type of ribbon, I definitely recommend to put a layer of duct tape underneath it so that it won't crease when you make the little loops of the bow. So I always start off with two feet of ribbon. So the first bow I made, I just got two feet of the pink shiny fabric. And I made two strips of them and then glued them together. Then I added some duct tape on the underside so that it was a lot sturdier. And then I took this really small, thin fabric and just laid that on either side of the edges. Then I just took this really fun zebra print ribbon and glued that to the middle. Then I just repeated all those steps to make a bow and used that same black ribbon for the center piece that wraps around. And this time I'm using two pieces of the black cross grain ribbon on top of the pink shiny ribbon. And I just glued that together and then added a strip of duct tape on the underside again. Then I also found this really pretty rhinestone trim and I just decided to put that on either edge. Then I made the bow and for the piece that wraps around I first put a layer of a black ribbon and then on top of that I did the rhinestones. And for the little V on the end of the ribbon I first obviously cut it into a V triangle type thing. And then I cut the rhinestone trim in half and just put one layer on either side of the V. For the next one, I took two pieces of the black grass grain again and then put a white strip of duct tape on top of that in the middle just so that the next colors, the next ribbons I put on that will pop. And I wanted this bow to be like a half blue and half red bow. Um, so, so I got a sparkly blue ribbon for one half of the side and then the other half I put a red ribbon and this should be directly in the center. Then I just made the bow and used a black ribbon to tie around the center. Finally, for the last bow, I just glued two of the pink shiny ribbons together. And on one half of the ribbon, I added a really pretty sparkly gold ribbon. And on the other half, I covered it with Mod Podge. And then just covered that entire thing with gold sparkles. After you've let it dry, you can spray it with hairspray so that the sparkles don't fall off. 
Then just make your bow and I tied it off with a black ribbon in the middle. So those are all my bows and I hope you guys liked them and enjoyed this video. And I wanted to get this video up before Halloween in, or in case any of you guys are wanting to be cheerleaders or like zombie cheerleaders or something for Halloween. So I thought that would be really fun. So I hope you guys liked that video and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe to my channel because I post new DIYs. And check out one of these videos below. So I will see you guys all later. Bye.